objectively, who was or is the greatest wrestler in WWE history? Um. Because <sighs> you have to look at their body of work. Yeah. And you have to consider, when you say in WWE history, do you consider the stuff they did outside of WWE or just in WWE? Yeah, let's make it easier, right? Let's say just in WWE. In WWE, yeah. okay. So you got to think about the, the greats. Austin and Rock are two of probably the most well-known wrestlers and Hogan. But I would say in terms of the, the modern perception, Austin and Rock are the most popular, most well-known wrestlers. The problem is when you actually look at their runs, they were incredibly short. Yeah. Austin had like a three-year run on top. Rock had like a four-year run on top. And then on and off, coming back and doing guest appearances. Super short. And then you look at Cena's run, and it's like, God, it's like 12 years long, right? Roman has had like an eight, nine-year run on top. Way longer than the Attitude Era. You know what I mean? Um, Sean, God, if it wasn't for the fact that Sean retired early, that's a huge stretch of time. He could have been. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like. Yeah. Because in my mind, when you just look at it in terms of pure, a mixture of promo, charisma, look, and work, Sean is in contention for the greatest of all time, 100%. If not, I mean, he kind of is. When you just look at how good of a wrestler he was with how good of a talker he was, it's like nobody really competes with both of those levels. Yeah. But in terms of longevity and in terms of looking at someone's body of work and um, just taking a look at somebody who's done this for a long time and is consistently good probably has to be taker. And I know that's a safe answer, but it's a safe answer for a reason. I mean, um, you know, personally, I feel like taker really turned on in like 2005 in terms of like his work actually becoming like top, top, top notch. His character work was always awesome, but he was always hung up injuries or he wasn't working guys at a great level. And then in 05, he was working guys like Kurt Angle, yeah. Shawn Michaels, Triple H. Um, God, I wish he worked Cena at that time. Batista, I mean, uh, Jericho, like guys who are really, really, really top notch. So I think it has to be Taker or, or, or maybe Cena. I think I'm going to say Taker, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not a controversial answer at all, but it's my opinion. It doesn't have to be. I yeah. think it's, it's one of the, it's the right answer because he is in the talks or in the Mount Rushmore for the best of pro wrestling. And he brought up an interesting point. There's so many what ifs in wrestling if Shawn Michaels didn't get yeah, injured. God, if the thing with his yeah. back, like who, yeah. who knows how he would have been. And The Rock, if he hadn't left and he had just stayed, he right. would have got like a decade in the industry. There's no, there's no question that he would have been the best. But because he left early, it was just right. always that question, right?